So I'm thinking about planting some trees in my backyard and I'm trying to figure out what tree this leaf comes from because I think it is so pretty. I mean, look, I have no clue what it is, but I think my friend, scientist Jake might know. How about we call him? Hello! Hello, Scientist Jake! Hello, Miss Jenna! Oh, and hello, friends! So, Scientist Jake, we are calling to ask you a question about leaf identification. Oh, a question in botany. Please do ask! Well, what's botany? And we want to know what tree this comes from. It's the study of plants. Oh, that's a fine specimen indeed. Note the elongated and broad shape. That is a palm leaf. A palm leaf, huh? Yes, it comes from a type of palm tree. Wow, thanks, Scientist Jake. That's exactly what we needed. You are so welcome, Miss Jenna. Well, we do have a story to get to today, so we'll talk to you later. Okay, have Bye, fun, Scientist friends. Jake. Thanks for calling. Bye. Wow, a palm tree. Now I know what kind of tree I want to plant in my backyard. This leaf is actually in today's story. But before we get to that, I think we need a quick recap. We have been learning so much about Jesus' time here on Earth. And guess what? This week, we are beginning to enter the final days of Christ's time on the earth before his death and resurrection on the cross. Jesus' time on earth has been filled with so many things. We've covered Jesus' birth and childhood. We have learned about his baptism and the calling of the disciples. We've looked at how Jesus is our healer, teacher, and miracle worker. The last few weeks, we have taken a closer look at some of Jesus' parables. Last week, you met my friend, Hip Hop Kevin, and we learned that Jesus is the resurrection and the life. It was a miracle when he rose Lazarus from the dead. Yay! Before we begin today's story, we need to have a dance break. Yes! This week's story involves some of these leaves. So, in honor of these leaves, I think we need a nature, nature dance, dance break. break. ready to do some gardening. Well, friends, I'm ready for today's story. So you know what time it is. It's time for Story Mode! The Passover feast was coming, and Jesus and his disciples were traveling to Jerusalem. The Passover feast was a time to remember how God had rescued and freed his people from slavery in Egypt. As Jesus came to the towns of Bethpage and Bethany on the Mount of Olives, he sent two disciples ahead. Go into that village over there. As you enter it, you will see a young donkey tied there that no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. Jesus told them if anyone asked why they need the colt to say, the Lord needs it. Hey, why are you untying that colt? The Lord needs it. They brought the donkey to Jesus and threw their garments, which is their clothes, over it for him to ride on. Jesus rode along and the crowds spread out their garments on the road ahead of them. Others spread palm branches cut from the fields. The whole crowd praised God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. Hosanna! Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Yes, Hosanna in the highest. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Hosanna! Hosanna! Some religious leaders said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your followers for saying things like that. 
if they kept quiet, the stones along the road would burst into cheers. That's so cool that people lay down palm branches and their garments on the road. That was something that would have been done for royalty. The crowds were declaring Jesus as the Messiah and the one true King. We are beginning to talk about Jesus' final weeks before his death and resurrection and him being welcomed and recognized by the crowds as the true King. The Messiah is the start. Hosanna is an expression of praise or joy. The people were praising their king, Hosanna! Hosanna! This week we need to get excited, excited that our God is the true king. He is royalty. And when we are adopted into his family, we are heirs, which means we are royalty too. Let's thank God that Jesus is king. Say it with me, Hosanna! Hosanna!